So, what did you guys guess? I'm gonna read the comments here when I post this video and see. You can see how much smaller she is than Leesky. I don't know what he weighs yet, but Cora, I just told you what she weighed. What am I doing? All right, I'm gonna have to fix this video. I might just leave it as a blooper. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm. If you're new to the channel, my name is Kevin, and thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Today is the day that we got to take care of some stuff. So we have been getting this question a lot, and this is a question that uh, we have been asking ourselves, doing a little bit of research about. Um, the question is, how are you going to keep your female dog, Cora, from getting bred at a young age? Um, we have never raised female dogs before. We've never bred dogs, so we are all new to this. And just like raising goats or anything else, when you're new to it, you're going to learn. You're going to live and learn. You're going to learn from mistakes, stuff like that. Well, we don't want this mistake. Um, after reading online and stuff, one of the worst things that can happen, it's not the end of the world if this happens, but it's not great for your animals, is if your female dog gets bred too early. And um, so far, we have not seen Cora come into heat. Um, so we haven't... I think we've, uh, I guess, missed the, uh, I don't know, I don't know the proper word for it, but we haven't seen anything happen yet. And uh, today, Leesky, I mean, Cora is due for her shot, so I made a vet appointment to go get her shots, and I want to talk to the doctor about one of the uh, procedures that I read online that people keep their young female dogs from becoming pregnant, or any age dog it don't have to be a young dog we got Smeagol back here I've got the Spanish turkeys walking all around me I guess Smeagol's wanting to go the ride to the vet too so anyways here in a minute I'm gonna call Cora and Lisky up here and I'm gonna get Cora load her up and we're gonna take her down to the vet get her shots and I'm gonna talk to him about this medication and the name of this medication is Megastrol Acetate if I'm saying that right Megastrol Acetate. You can do a quick Google search. You guys can probably pronounce that better than me if you can see it on the camera. But um, basically what this does is, um, from what I read, is it's a medication that you can give a dog once you see that they are ready to be bred when they're in heat. You start giving them this pill, and I think it's eight days in a row, and it actually breaks their heat cycle. And I guess with dogs... Um, from my understanding dogs only come in heat like every six months like once every six months or so so if we could just get through this first phase she's right about six months now and that's way too young you don't want to breed a dog if you can avoid it you don't want your dog to get bred at six months of age if you could wait till about 18 months would be ideal um, i would feel a lot better if it accidentally happened at 12 months rather than six months of course but it is what it is and i don't even know if this vet is going to uh, prescribe us this medication. I don't know if there's, I don't know, every vet is different. Um, some of them might say that there's side effects and stuff. From what I read online, this is a safe medication and there's not really any side effects that's gonna cause any problems in the future and stuff. And don't get me wrong, if you have female dogs and you don't want them to get bred and you never want them to get bred, that's when you need to take them and uh, get them spayed or if it's a male dog, get them neutered and then you don't ever have to worry about it again. You don't have to worry about the medication. This medication isn't something you just want to give them every time they come in the heat. If you never plan on having puppies. But we just want her to get a little older before she does get bred. And, uh, you know, it can cause complications and it can stun them. There's all kinds of different things that can happen. So all the goats are way off on the other 20 acres. I, they're out the other end of the field. I can actually see them right now. The dogs are with them. And uh, I'm going to try to call them and get them up here. I got treats in my pocket. Leesky! Cora! <whistles> here they come. They're way over there. Let's see if I can zoom in on them. Oh, man, they're way over there. Leesky! Cora! Mm -hmm. Here comes Leesky. I don't know where Cora is. I don't know if you guys can see the goats. They're way over there. Cora! She probably sees Chuck here and she's like, I ain't going back to that vet again. I hate taking rides. Lisa said, it's too early for dinner. What's the deal, Dad? 
I'm gonna get up here on my perch and see what's going on. Oh, here comes a goat up behind. <laughs> That'll bring in Cora at least. Cora! Come on, girl! I didn't say goats, y'all can stay over there and browse around for your breakfast. There's Mr. Leesky. Alright, so we got Leesky, where's Cora? Cora! Come here, girl! Oh, here she comes. Alright, let's see if we can do this. <laughs> what is it? You're not going for a ride today. Mr. Leesky. Yeah, I got a treat for you. Miguel, do you like dog treats? You eat, eat chicken food, so I'm sure he'll eat a dog treat. Fair enough. Alright, there's Miss Cora. I got a leash. She's not really leash trained. We've never worked with her. Leesky used to be leash trained when we first got him. So let's give him a treat. Both a treat. She's gonna get nervous because uh, these are working dogs. They're not used to going or getting in the truck. Here you go. One for you. One for Miss Cora. Good girl. Good girl. I got another one. Oh, Lisky, you didn't even eat yours. You just dropped it. Are you here to help me, Smeagol? Come here. Come here. It's your sweetheart. Come here. Lisky, quit. Come here. Come here. Hey, it's okay. Come here. Oh, good girl. Come here, I got another treat for you. Good girl. Good girl. Did you eat your treat? Come here. Alright, that's not best friend. Let's just get you loaded so you don't freak out. Come here. Come here. Run, hey. It's okay. Come here. Oh boy. You're oh, a heavy girl. Already. Oh. Get in there. Get in there. Okay. It's okay. Alright, Mr. Leesky, we will be back, buddy. And I'm gonna strap this down so it doesn't tip over or nothing like that. She is a heavy dog. If you guys remember our last dog, uh, Daisy. Daisy, at her highest weight, she was 90 pounds. She's gotta be very close to that. At least he's not sure what's going on and neither is Cora. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm not gonna film none of this down to vet. I'm just gonna go get it done and then get her back home as soon as possible. Like I said, this is only the second time she's ever left the farm since she's been here. First time I was to go get her shots, and now it's time to get the next ones. And uh, we don't want to encourage them coming out of that gate because we don't want them getting out of the fence. We don't want them trying to jump the fence or going under it or to think it's okay to come out here in the yard or to leave their goat pasture. So I'm going to get down there, get that done, and make sure Smeagol don't go because he probably won't come back. And then uh, when we get back, I'll update you guys and see if the uh, veterinarian prescribed us the medication or what other options we're going to have to look at. This video is sponsored by Upside. From cringing fuel prices to eye-popping checks at your favorite restaurant, inflation is hitting us all too hard. And it never hurts to save a little money. And that's why we started using Upside. Upside is an incredible app for anyone who buys gas, groceries, or dines out. With every purchase, I'm earning cash back thanks to Upside. Upside is a no-brainer. It's not just another ordinary app that is too good to be true. I can assure you that I've used it and it works. To get started, download the free Upside app in the App Store or Google Play, use my promo code HHFARM, and get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. Next step, claim an offer for whatever you're buying on Upside. Check in at the business, pay as usual with a credit or debit card, and get paid. In comparison to credit card rewards or loyalty programs, you can earn three times more cash back with Upside. You can cash out anytime to your bank account, PayPal, or an e-gift card for Amazon and other brands.
Upside users are earning more than a million dollars every week. That's probably why they have a 4.8 star rating on the App Store. So anytime we have to fill up any of our vehicles, we always use the Upside app. It's so easy to use, it shows you the nearest store and how much money you can get cash back. Just currently, I was able to get 22 cents back filling up a 30 gallon diesel truck. So download the free Upside app and use code HHFARM for $5 or more cash back off of your first purchase of $10 or more. Okay, we are back home and uh, Cora does not like taking trips to town. She absolutely hates it. Cora, your wife's back home. You ready for your wife to come see you? Mm, did you miss her? All right, we'll get her out. So let me get her out real quick because she's tired of being in there and then we'll talk a little bit about what we got figured out. How about, how about I try to get your pet taxi? Gonna set it on the ground and then uh, we open the gate. And you can just run out, so I ain't gotta carry it. I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can do that. It might be easier just for me to pick you up again. You ready to go see Leesky Man? Huh? Did you miss Leesky Man? Okay, so she's not collar trained, so this is worthless. I, uh, all I did was I picked her up and I carried her into the vet. And there was no dragon or nothing else. Come here, girl. You are a big girl. Goodness gracious. I got you. No. Y'all will not believe how much she weighed. I can get this out. Okay. Here you go, see Leesky. There you go. You're not in trouble. You did a good job. You're a big girl. At least he's smelling on her because he smells them other dogs. All right, let's let's go figure this out. Cora, you did good, girl. You're not in trouble. She thinks she's in trouble. I got a treat in my pocket. Come here, Miss Cora. She said, "No, I'm not going back." Come here, sis. Come here, Cora. Come here. You're okay. Her did good. Yeah, her did a good job. Here you go. There's that smile I like to see. All right, she ate her treat. Everything's back to normal. We're not going anywhere now. We don't have to go nowhere for a long time. She don't have to go back to the vet for a long time. Here. I got more treats in my pocket. How about... There's a pepperoni for you. Come here, Cora. You want one? Oh. Here you go. Hurry, get it for Liski does. You're not in trouble, girl. All right. So do I have any guesses? Oh, come here. All right. So do I have any guesses on how much Miss Cora weighed? Leave that down in the comments below. And I want to see if you guys can guess. What do you know? Huh? Well, you know, and I'll tell you guys at the end of this video, and I don't even know what this big man weighs. We got to get him to the vet now and get his shot for the year. <laughs> I know he's not as big as Mojo yet, but uh, he's getting there. So anyways, guys, um, I talked to the vet. Um, everything with Cora looks good. She don't have no hip problems. Everything's going good. And uh, she got her distemper booster. And look at this. Got me all wet already. So she's caught up and now she don't have to go back for a year to get the next year, three year rabies shots and all that. So that's good to go. Um, talk to him about the heat cycle deal and he said that um, he hasn't prescribed that in a long time. Um, it was very expensive back when he did do it and not very many people ever used it. So he just never carried it in stock or anything. So he went ahead and told him the situation. We've been using this vet for many years now and he he knows he watches our YouTube channel here and there. He knows that we run a goat farm. He knows these dogs are working dogs. And I know a lot of people will say, "Why don't you just put Cora in your house or put her in your garage for while she's in heat so she don't get bred?" Um guys, these livestock guardian dogs, um for those of you who've been following us, they know or you know that you can't just take these dogs away from their family and in this instance it's the goats who they guard um, their instincts their natural instincts is to 
bond with whatever they're guarding, whether it be horses, cows, sheep, or goats, in our instance, it's the goats. When you take them away from their family, they're gonna be sold up, they're gonna be sad, they're gonna go crazy, they're gonna wanna go back outside. For one, they're used to living with them. Two, they're not used to living in a house or a barn or nothing else. They're used to running around with their family, the goats. So we're not gonna do that. Um, we did try to pin Daisy up. If you guys remember our last Anatolian female, Daisy. She came in heat and uh, pinned her up in the barn. She dug out, jumped the fence, and went and got bred by neighbor dogs. So that was like a whole nightmare. Um, we ended up getting her spayed so she couldn't ever have puppies again. And that really that really upset me because she's, she's probably the best dog that we have ever had um, all around dog. So that was kind of a... Uh, sad that it went that way so we're trying to keep that from happening with Cora. so he went ahead and said i will write you the prescription for it i'm okay with doing it uh, he talked to me for about 30 minutes about it explained the whole estrus cycle and when you're supposed to give the meds and this and that and uh problem is he got online to uh, see if he could get it in and his manufacturer distributor is uh they're back ordered from the manufacturer. So the distributor that he uses is back ordered from the manufacturer. So that means the manufacturer is way behind. So he said, if you can get on Chewy or another online website, if you can find the in stock, have them send me a request for a prescription. And he has no problem writing it. And um, we gotta get we gotta get something very quick because she could come in the heat any day. She's seven months old. And there is a couple things that we could try. To keep them separated i don't want to have to do that but uh last case scenario type thing um we could keep her in a stock trailer just keep her right here we could keep her and a goat in there to maybe keep her comfortable so she's you know got something in there with her you can see they love each other they're they've been raised with each other at least he's been training her they're good buddies and uh can't wait to have puppies i just don't want them yet so uh, we could try to lock her up in the kidding stall in the barn. It's just, it's one of those things where it'd be like seven to 10 days of her being locked up, which I don't want to do that, but it's better than her getting pregnant at such a young, young age. Um, a lot of times, the vet was saying a lot of times, these larger breed dogs, a lot of them won't come in until they're about a year or so old, but there's no guarantee. She could come in today, um, being at seven months old even. <clears throat> So we're just going to try to get online. I'm gonna to try to get that done right now. As soon as I end this video, I gotta pan over and show you this goat and the cat. Look at this. <laughs> Smeagol's laying right there. He just walked out here and plopped down on the ground and them goats are like, what is this? This ain't no stuffed animal I've ever seen. So uh, I told you guys I'd tell you how much she weighed. Did everybody get their guesses in? She's a big dog, I'll tell you that. So she weighs exactly as much as Daisy did. Daisy weighed 88 pounds. Cora weighs 88.4 pounds. Um, I've got a big old sack of Brevecto. I've got the wormer for everybody, and that's the cats. And we give the Brevecto into the fall as well, like I said, because we still get ticks. Um, I think I talked about this in my last video. When I go deer hunting in November, October, November, and even December, I'm still getting ticks crawling on me. It's very heavily wooded here. In Oklahoma, you might it might be in the 20s for a whole week solid in December, and then all of a sudden you get 80 degree days. Well, guess what? It comes out, the ticks. So we gotta keep these guys with the Brevecto in their system all year round. Um, our last dog, Bear, he was a great Pyrenees. He actually got bit by a tick and he got the Lyme disease and it was a bad deal. It made him super sick. So we don't wanna go through that again. Um, Brevecto's, you know, it's kind of expensive. It's a preventive. I think it's about $70 per animal that you give it to. But if you have to take them to the vet for getting Lyme disease or anything else, you might as well, you just waste. You know, you could have saved that from, if you just would have got the $70 Brevecto. Uh, vet visits and stuff like that adds up. And then the other medication that they have to take. I think Bear had to take meds for 30 days, some kind of antibiotic. And now the dogs are playing with the cats. So, what did you guys guess? I'm going to read the comments here when I post this video and see. You can see how much smaller she is than Leesky. I don't know what he weighs yet, but Cora, I just told you what she weighed. What am I doing? Alright, I'm going to have to fix this video. I might just leave it as a blooper. I don't know what I'm doing. 
But anyways, I know what I got to do. I got to get in the house and I've got to get that ordered because uh, we got to get that to where we have it available. And then once we see her start bleeding and Lisky smelling on her and all that, we got to start giving her the pills. And I think it's for eight days straight we got to give her a pill. So anyways, guys, I'm going to quit rambling now. Um, hopefully this answers um, your guys' questions on what we are going to do to prevent her from getting pregnant. What we're going to do with Cora, because I sure don't like keeping animals locked up, especially in for like a week or so. But uh, we love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned, and I will let you guys know as soon as I find this product and have it in hand, and we'll talk more about it when the time comes. So uh, leave, a, leave a comment down below also if you've ever dealt with this uh, medication for animals in the same scenario. Um, Megastrol acetate. If you guys have ever used it, what's your experience with it? And uh, did it work? So like this video, subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll see you next time. You glad to be home, sis? She says, yep, I missed my goats. <laughs>